Hello, I'm Jennifer Evans, one of the paediatric consultants at the Cardiff and Vale University Health Board. You may have seen a lot in the media recently around Strep A and the risk it poses to children. It's natural to have concerns about your child and be unsure of when to seek emergency treatment. However, it's also important to remember that at this time of year, there are a number of seasonal viruses circulating. So many children will have a sore throat or a fever due to a viral infection and not necessarily a bacterial infection caused by group A strep. Group A strep, or GAS, is a bacteria commonly found on the skin or in the throat. Infections caused by group A strep are common in children but are most likely to cause a mild illness such as a sore throat, sometimes known as a strep throat, or a mild skin infection. These are easily treated with antibiotics, reducing the chances of complications and spread to other people. Strep A can also cause scarlet fever, where children have a high temperature and this may not settle for over four or five days, a sore throat and a rash with a sandpaper-like feel. This rash can be red in fair-skinned people or skin-coloured on darker skin. If you feel your child may be showing symptoms of scarlet fever, you should see a GP. In rare cases, more severe illness may occur in the form of invasive group A strep or IGAS. When group A strep bacteria enter specific parts of the body such as the lungs or the bloodstream, warning signs to look out for include if your child presents with one of the following. If your child is not drinking well and hasn't had a wet nappy for 12 hours or more, if they complain of severe muscle aches, particularly in one area of the body, if they have a spreading a redness on the skin or a rash that doesn't disappear when you press it, if your child is breathless or having trouble breathing, or if your child is excessively sleepy or very irritable. If your child has any of these, you should urgently contact a medical professional, which could be your GP or could be dialing 111 and you might then be directed to the emergency department. The guidance for very young babies is slightly different. If your baby is under three months of age and has a fever of 38 degrees or more, or it's under six months and has a fever of 39 degrees or more, you should see a GP or dial 111 immediately. If your child doesn't get better with antibiotics and is getting more unwell, it's important to seek advice from a healthcare professional again. Thank you.